Welcome to Kairos Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. I'll be showing you how I made this jacket. It's a peplum jacket with um, lining, and I'll be using a yard and a half of fabric to make this. First, if this is your first time on this channel, kindly click the subscribe button and also the notification bell in order to get notifications for our upcoming tutorials. All right, the measurements we're going to be needing for this jacket is the underbust measurements, the half length and the full length, the shoulder measurements, the sleeve length, the round sleeve measurements, the bust circumference measurements, the underbust circumference measurements. So these are the measurements we'll be needing in this tutorial. And don't forget we upload the cutting and the sewing of our tutorials differently. So if you're watching the cutting of this tutorial, there's need for you to watch the sewing. And if you're watching the sewing as well, there's need for you to watch the cutting of this tutorial. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment box below. Let's move on. Alright, to start with, um, I'm working on the front first. I have the half length of 17 inches plus 1 inch, that's 18 inches. Then to fold my fabric, I'm using the bust measurement, which is the highest circumference measurement. This is the half length. So I have the bust of 40 inches plus 8 divided by 4 is 12 inches. And here I had it 3 inches, that is 15 inches. So I folded 15 inches. The 8 inches I added is still the same as your measurements divided by 4 plus 2 inches. So let's move on. I have my 9 inches for the MO, the underbust measurement of 14 inches, plus 1 for my seam allowance, I have 15. Half, um, half length 17 plus 1, that's 18 inches. And I folded my 15 inches. So first, I'm going to notch this out. Like I said, I had a 3 inches extra, so I need to hide the 3 inches first, so I can bring out the side measurements. Good. Now, I have the shoulder. Shoulder divided by 2 is 7.5, that's 15, divided by 2, I have 7.5, plus half inch for the same allowance, that's 8. On the 9 inches... For the arm o i have my bust plus eight divided by four that is 12 inches so i have my 12 inches and below my under bust i'm going to take the under bust circumference measurement which is 34 34 plus eight divided by four i have 10.5 inches this is my 10 in 10.5 inches so i'm going to bring out the shape this is the arm o with or without your your arm o curve you can do this that's the arm o then connect from the bust to the under bust circumference measurement we're going to cut this first so i will place this to cut out the back i don't need any zipper i want so i'll just place what i have here to get the back all right so i'll just cut it out i have the front and the back to work on the neck design the width of 2.5 inches 2.5 inches the front depth of 3.5 inches and the back depth of one inch the back depth of one inch this is my 2.5 inches bringing out a round shape that's the back and the front So I need to slant the shoulder and I'm, I'll use one inch to slant. All 
Okay, I need a princess that's on my jacket. And from the, the folding, that's from the middle, I measure four inches. Four inches to the nipple points. And on the arm O, I'll bring down 3.5 inches. For my princess that I'm going to curve this, curving this from the 3.5 to the nipple point, and I'll cut. Alright, guys, we are done with the back and still working on the front. I'll first unfold my three inches and I'll measure 1.5 inches. I'm measuring from the middle 1.5 inches. Now I need a lapel on this part of my jacket. Then the length of the lapel that has to do with you, I'll be using 7.5 inches. 7.5 inches. You can bring it down to 8, 9, 10, 11, depending on your choice. So that's is 7.5 inches. So my 1.5 inches is still coming all the way down. 1.5. So that from my 7.5, I'm going to slant to the edge of my folding. I'll pick that again. The depth of my lapel, that's where the point where I want the lapel to stop, where I want my button to start from. I measured down 7.5. You can still bring it down to your choice, your desired measurements. So I have my 1.5 measured straight down. Then from my 7.5, I slant to the edge of my folding. So the 1.5 I have here is meant for my button and the button holes like this then to the edge this is what we have so that this and the 1.5 and then i have this so this is how it's going to look like. I need a facing, particularly for this part, this part of my jacket. So I'm going to place this material to cut out a facing, just like this. All right, like I said, all you just need to do is fold your fabric and place this part on it to cut it out. now the reason for this is so that when i turn my fabric by the time i fold the lapel out i don't want to be seeing the other side of my fabric so this is going to stand in gap like this yeah just like this because i don't want those parts showing so this is how it's going to look like all right so we move um to the flare parts of our jackets all right for the flare parts i'm folding a double flare so in case you don't know how to do that kindly watch our tutorial on how to cut the different types of flare i'm attaching this to the underboard circumference of 34 inches and remember at the front part is going to overlap so i had it three inches that's 36 inches divided by four now that is nine inches nine inches so i've gotten my nine inches the remaining length is eight inches that's because the full length is 25 and here we have 17 so to complete that is eight inches plus one inch seam allowance i have nine inches and i've measured my nine inches so i'm going to cut this out don't worry, I'll be making a tutorial on the top and putting on 
in my next videos i know you don't want to miss out all right so this is the double flay and next we move to the sleeve to make a sleeve i need the the length of 12 inches but i added five inches to it because i'm cutting out a puff sleeve so this is a five inches and here i have my 12 inches the sleeve the round sleeve measurement is 13 divided by 2 is 6.5 plus 3 inches for folding that's 9.5 and like i said i'm making a puff sleeve so i added one inch extra that is 10.5 inches first i'm going to measure my one inch that's the extra one inch i had it then to bring out the sleeve which is 6.5 13 divided by 2 6.5 and plus one inch for my same allowance i have my 7.5 inches now this is a normal length of our sleeve so that from there i can get my four inches there's a four inches so i'm going to slant from the four inches so the round sleeve measurements down now the extra five inches i had it um i have to bring out the arm size this is the part i'm attaching to the arm o on the dress but this time around i'm going to start from here it's a puff sleeve so i need excess i need excess so i'll bring it down the more puffy you want it to come out the more you add to the length of your sleeve so i'll be cutting from here so this is our normal sleeve of 12 inches i had it five inches the folding divided by two that's 6.5 inches plus three inches for our folding that's 9.5 and i added one inch extra that's 10.5 inches the one inch i added i first brought it out so that i can get the round sleeve measurement of 6.5 plus one inch for seam allowance 7.5 this are this is our normal length so i'll bring down my four inches this is my four inches then from there to the round sleeve measurement now instead of cutting from here i'm not going to do that it's a puff sleeve so the five inches extra i had it then i'm bringing it down from there so that i can have enough fabric to pleat i'm going to cut it out like this this is what i have this is the middle and the one inch I brought out, I'm going to hold my darts with it. I'm going to hold my darts with it. Then I can bring out my normal round sleeve measurement and I'll pleat this part. The color will be done in the next tutorial, which is the sewing. Remember, we upload both cutting and sewing. I need to first join the shoulder. Then before I'll take the neck measurements to get the color measurements that i need so i guess this is the end of our cutting